Customer called, said the heat pump was frozen. Sent me a picture and it looked like this. Now what can cause a heat pump to freeze like that and to not thaw out? One, low on refrigerant. So we're gonna check the refrigerant and show you how to hook up gauges. Two, bad defrost controls. This one uses time and temperature. So it's got a defrost thermostat and it's got a defrost board. I'm gonna show you how to force a defrost. We're gonna make sure it goes into defrost. We're gonna make sure it's charged. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, let's get started. We've got it running, it's starting to freeze. What kind of unit is it? 25 HBS 324. 24 is 24,000 BTU. We got 12,000 per ton, so that's two tons. It uses R22 refrigerant. It's got an indoor TXV with a recommended subcooling of 11. Got the gauges hooked up and the temperature probes. High side gauge goes on the hot gas line because this line becomes warm during the heating mode. Low side goes on the middle port and that's the true suction. We're measuring the liquid line temperature and the suction line temperature. So we should have a hot temperature for that vapor line, and we do. It's 117 degrees. And then our liquid line was 71, okay? Pressures are 16 and 135, which seems a little bit low. Let's see if we can force a defrost. There's our defrost board. We got two pink wires, which lead to our defrost thermostat. And then there's where it says speed up. So we're gonna short those test pins, all right? For five seconds. Two, three, four, five. Oh, okay. So we gotta make sure, okay, there it goes, there it goes. So it's going into a defrost. Now, we gotta see if the defrost thermostat is open or closed, right? So, pull this off. Let's get our own meter and see if this is open or closed. All right. Yep, taken. Check it out, what do we got? I can't see it, oh, it's open. All right, so it's supposed to stay open and it's supposed to close whenever the temperature of the coil gets down below 35 degrees, I'm almost certain. So that's working, it's forcing a defrost why is it getting uh, like a block of ice? I think it's because we're low of refrigerant. So I think we need to add, need to check the outdoor fan. Let's go ahead and add some refrigerant. All right, we're gonna open up and add some refrigerant. All right. Let's add about eight ounces and see what happens. Now look at this little handy dandy heating check chart here so our indoor temperature is 60 right this is a two ton and then if you scroll over to outdoor temperature dry bulb wet bulb our outdoor temperature right now is about 40 degrees all right so if you line up the 60 with the 40 our suction should be at least 50 psig and our high side should be at least 183 now what was it it was 15, I think, on the low side, and it was 130 on the high. Now that I've added a pound, we got 33 and 163. And our vapor line is much hotter, right? It's 120 now. I still think we need some refrigerant, for sure. So, let's add some more. Add another pound. Now that we've added two pounds of refrigerant, 37 on the low, almost 40, and the high side's 180 almost. And then our vapor line is 116. Uh, liquid line is 75. Now I know these are backwards, but it's because I've got the probes on the other line. So I hope that makes sense. Now we need to verify the temperature split. So let's get a, uh, let's get a uh, thermistor. Let's go inside and measure the supply vent. Right now it is Looks like what, 62 inside? So, and that is the air handler right there that goes to the outdoor unit, the heat pump. So we're gonna check the supply vent now. So keep that in mind, those 62 
should be, be at least 82 coming out and then with the heat kit running I mean you're gonna have a much higher rise than 20 degrees Our K type thermistor inside the vent, it's 138. So, heat kit's definitely running. You need to de energize the heat kit if you're going to check the true supply and return air and the temperature split of a heat pump, just the heat pump. So, all right, 138, that's excellent. Pressures are 44 on the low and almost 200 on the high. The reason that this unit was probably not thawing out and freezing much quicker than usual is because it was low of refrigerant if it's low of refrigerant that means it's leaking find the leak i'm going to schedule this for a pressure test we're going to pressure test with nitrogen but the first thing i do is i look for signs of oil on the indoor on the outdoor coil look for oil first then get your leak detector then if you can't find it pressurize it with nitrogen and we might have an indoor coil or outdoor coil leaking Maybe we have to have a new coil, but maybe we can fix it. You never know. But if you have to add refrigerant, it is leaking. Let the customer know and say, I can come back, you know, in the spring, in the fall, whenever your schedule will allow for you to pressure test it and go ahead and fix it permanently because you don't want to have to come back and forth to add gas or charge a unit when you can have a better fix for it. If you don't know how to find a refrigerant leak or fix one, I've got a video right here so you can learn more. If you don't know how to test a defrost thermostat and force a defrost, I'm gonna put a video right here. Go check that out. Check out the other videos down in the link in the description to learn more about heat pumps and how to charge a heat pump in the heating mode. This is just a quick video showing you how I look at everything, how I check everything, and this one's just low of refrigerant. That's all that's wrong. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.